multiply 5a minus 2 times 4a squared plus 3a minus 1. So here we're multiplying a binomial by a trinomial. So the, the FOIL tool will not work here. It would only work if you were multiplying a binomial times another binomial. So here we really have to rely on the distributive property. What we can do is we can distribute we can distribute this entire trinomial onto the binomial. So we can multiply 4a squared plus 3a minus 1 times 5a, and then multiply 4a squared plus 3a minus 1 times negative times negative 2. So that would give us, so that would give us, let me do it this way, it would be 5a, 5a times 4a squared plus 3a minus 1. And then we would have a negative 2, or plus negative 2, which is the same thing as, well, let me just write it this way, plus, plus negative 2, plus negative 2 times 4a squared plus 3a minus 1. I've just distributed this onto each term over here. You see the 5a minus 2. Each term is now being multiplied by this entire thing. And now we can distribute the 5a onto this term. So we have 5a times 4a squared. We, so we can multiply the 5 times the 4. We get 20. a times a squared, a to the first times a squared is a to the third power. Then we do 5a times 3a. 5 times 3 is 15. a times a is a squared. And then finally, you have 5a times negative 1. Well, that's just going to be negative 5a. Now we do this part, plus. Negative 2 times 4a squared. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8a squared. Negative, so we just did that. Negative 2 times 3a. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6a. And then finally, you have negative 2 times negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 1. Well, negative times a negative is a positive, so that is positive positive 2. And now we can combine like terms. We only have one third degree term over here. We only have the 20a to the third. So let's just write that down, 20a to the third. And then let's look, look, let's look at our a squared terms. We have a 15a squared term right over here, and we have another negative 8a squared. So if I have 15 of something and I subtract 8, if I subtract 8 from that, then I have 7 of that something left. So 15 minus 8 is 7a squared. And then we have, let me do a new color here, we have a negative 5a. And to that, we're going to add a negative 6a. So we're already negative 5. We're going to go another negative 6. We're going to become 6 more negative. So that is negative 11a. And then finally, we have this constant out here, this plus 2. Now, I'll show you another way to get this exact same answer. We are done. We have simplified. We've combined all our like terms. Another way to do this, which is essentially just doing the distributive property twice, but it's essentially more analogous to how we actually multiply numbers. So if we do it like this, we can actually take this expression up here, 4a squared plus 3a minus 1, and then multiply it by this second expression right over here. So times, and I'll write it in the same places. And when I talk about places here, I'm not talking about powers of 10. I'm talking about powers of a. So this is in the first power of a space. So 5a, see we have first powers of a in this space minus 2. This is 0th power of a. This is the a to the 0th power space instead of the 1's place. This is the a to the 1st power instead of the 10's place. And this is a to the squared power place instead of the 100's place. But it's completely analogous to what you do when you learn to multiply numbers in the first or second grade. So let's multiply these. So first, let's go. Let's multiply negative 2 times this entire thing. Remember, we're just essentially doing the distributive property. When I multiply negative 2 times this entire thing, I'm doing this step right over here. So negative 2 times negative 1, negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. And once again, there's no a there, so I'm going to write in the a to the 0 space, or the 1's place. So it's going to be positive 2. Negative 2 times 3a, well, that is negative 6a, and it's going to be in the a place, negative 6a, a to the first power place. And then negative 2 times 4a squared, well, that's just going to be negative 8a squared. Negative 8a squared. So this is negative 2 being multiplied by all of that gives me this. And then when I take, and then when I take my 5a and I multiply it by negative 1, that's negative 5a. And so it goes into the a place, so negative 5a. It goes under a like term. 
Then 5a times 3a, 5 times 3 is 15. a times a is a squared, so it goes under the other a squared. So it's 15a squared. And then finally, 5a times 4a squared, 5 times 4 is 20. a times a squared is a to the third. So you have 20a to the third. And now you can just add it all up. You can just add it all up. And we get 2 plus nothing is 2. Negative 6a minus 5a. Well, that's just negative 11a. We still have this plus 2 here. Negative 8a squared plus 15a squared. Well, that's going to be 7a squared. So plus 7a squared. And then you're adding this to nothing, so you have 20 a to the third, and we got the exact same answer because we really just did the same exact thing, we just wrote it in a different way.